But I hope he's not hurt too badly. Shoot. I didn't call Aunt Lamont. I'll call her. I'll call. How am I gonna tell her about it, though? You won't say he's dead when you're be calm. Call her and tell her now. Yes, I'm coming! Oh, thank goodness. Where is my father? He's busy. Is that why he didn't come to pick me up? Elif's diaper is clean and she's fed. She won't wake up for three hours. I'll be back before she wakes up, okay? Where are you going right now? I have something to do. Be good for Mehmet and be a good boy, okay? I want to come with you. Don't be a crybaby, please, okay? You and I can play some fun games now. <laughs> Change his clothes. I prepared something for him in the kitchen. You can feed him. Be quiet or she's going to wake up, okay? Look at me. Keep your head on alert, please. I entrust them to you. Yes, don't you worry. <sighs> Come on, then. Let's wash your hands and your face. Come on. Let's go. Oh, she woke up! Wait, Marat, wait. Uh, let's give her the pacifier. Marat, wait, wait! Yassar, where is he? Right in here. Erdogan. Erdogan, my son, Please where are you taking up, him? He'll have a tomography scan. Haven't you done it yet? Oh, look, there's blood in his ear. There's a wound behind his ear, that's why. I'm Rasat Yasaran, Erdogan's uncle. How is he, doctor? The respiration's normal. He's unconscious. We are doing the tests. We will inform you after we get the results. Okay, but is he at risk of dying now? Please be honest with me. I can't say anything now. Please just keep calm and wait. How did you learn about it anyway? We were together. I was waiting in the car. He didn't return, so I went out to find him. Uh, the ambulance was leaving then, so I followed them here. Where is Rami Katensi now? They took him to the police station. Rasat, they took Rami to the police station. I'll learn which station they're at now, and I'll go there. Okay, go, go. Yeah, but okay. you don't really need me here anyway. Okay, go. Okay, call me later, okay? Okay, Munir, we will. <sighs> please, someone, please help him. Yes. Let's go on. My wife just gave birth. She gave birth. That's why I couldn't go. I couldn't go with Fatma Gul to the doctor. You said that already. Why don't you tell me about this incident? I was helping Mukadis, my wife, at home. And then I left to take Fatma Gul. I was going to the doctor. I was going to catch a cab, and then he called my name. I got closer. When I got closer, I saw that he held my sister. He held her arm. I was scared. I couldn't run away. <sighs> that damn jerk. Shh. This isn't the first time that he's disturbed us. Quiet. We're taking your wife's statement. Mrs. Fatma Gul. When he came over me suddenly, I started to shout. I wanted to run away, but he held my arm. <sighs> my sister was asking for help. She said, help me, help me. She was screaming for help. Yes? Oh, finally. Good day. I'm Omer and I'm their lawyer. Yes. Oh, that's Omer. Our lawyer, he's our lawyer, Kadir's friend. It's Omer. It's Omer. This is Omer. I protected my sister. I saved her. We understand that. Tell us how you protected her. I hit him hard. I hit him on the head with the shovel, like this. Rami, do not speak. You hit his head? How many times? I hit him once, and then I hit him again. He fell down. I don't remember how many times. That's enough, Rami. I just didn't want him to be able to get up again. Does he have a condition? Actually, officer, he doesn't... Not at all, but listen. Okay, go on. I defended my sister. It was self-defense. Self-defense. So you know what self-defense is, huh? I know, yes, I do. Look, sir. 
Your sister doesn't have any wounds on her. On top of that, you attacked him from behind his back. This can't be self-defense. Uh-huh, I hit from behind. You hit him twice? I don't know, maybe it was more. I don't remember how many times. I don't remember. I hit him to protect Fatma Ghul. Okay, that's enough. I would like to talk to my client alone, please. Uh, he'll talk to me, please. I will tell... Look, Omer, I was going to get Fatma Ghul from the doctors. Uh, wait a minute, Rami. Can... Where can we talk in private? You can talk in here. Thank you very Madam. much. Oh. <sighs> I'm sorry. Have you arrived? Yes, we've just arrived. Excited. We're going we'll to the city friends. center now. We're on the I'm way. So happy. Hello? I am here, I am here. I don't want to see Mom. Hey, you called me. Yes, I called you because of... <laughs> what a shame. What a shame. We were just wondering if you had a safe journey, that's all. That's why I called. Yes, we had a safe journey. Everything was fine. The weather's warm here. Well, it's raining now, but you oh, know the rain in Antalya. Oh, but just wait. We will have a nice day with our friends, though. I'm happy for you. I hope you have a great time. Thank you very much, Maryam. What are you doing now? Oh, it's Maryam. Shh, be quiet. We'll return tomorrow evening. Do you want anything from here? No, but thanks a lot, though. See you when we arrive, then. Goodbye. I'll see you. <sighs> Let me see, did you change color? <laughs> What's going on? Tell oh, us. Oh, Kadir. Actually, he didn't come here to be with us. Uh -oh. He's here to visit his ex-parents-in-law. Oh, very good. And there is more. He will tell them about Mrs. Merriam. Don't make me regret telling you, all right? <laughs> Who is Mrs. Merriam? No, I won't tell. Look, he gets angry. <laughs> what happened? Fatmogul gave her statement. It's done. Good. Omer is here now. Where is he? In that room, he's talking with Rami. Has Kadir called yet? He called, but I couldn't tell him anything. He was there for one day with his friends. I didn't want to ruin his trip. We're not alone anymore. We have Omer here. I'll sit down for a little bit. My knees are shaking. Sit down, my child. Do you want me to get you some water? We have to take Mr. Erdogan's statement to determine the procedures for Mr. Rami Katensi. I can't allow this now, officer. He has been through some severe trauma. Fatmogul Ilgaz has made a complaint about him. Oh, you see? The pot calling the kettle black as always. This is even more serious because it relates to another incident. These peasants are just so out of control. Who will stop them? Hilmiye is coming. Salim. Come here, Hilmiye. Don't worry, he's okay. Where is my son? How is he? Yomie, calm down. How is my son? We found a large crack on his skull, ma'am. <laughs> that maniac tried to kill him. A nasty blow. We are keeping him under observation. We'll assess the other symptoms, then decide what to do. I want to see my son. Is he in there? Yes, but please calm down. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll take care of it. Come here. <laughs> My child, what have they done to you? I hope they will get what they deserve. Hilmiye, Hilmiye, keep calm. I'm 